Well guys, I think I have a problem. Just bought this today. I can't help myself. I get an idea in mind, I buy it. I buy projects. I can't stop. First of all, it's an 04. X, obviously. I'm in the middle of the road. I'm trying not to get run down. 35s. Chinese bumper. Chinese winch. Probably Chinese lights, most likely. Decent wheels, just not good for the street. Probably Chinese flares. Rust free. Not a drop of rust at all. Chinese rear bumper. But these are actually kind of nice. I'm not keeping it, but they're nice. <clears throat> if I could get rid of these, I might keep it. I don't know yet. I'm going to put a Desteco latch on it, though. Um, shackles have to go. I don't know why people run those at all times. Decent wheels. These are for sale. I'm going with the KO2s. Um, so... The guy told me it had six inch springs on it, which I'm starting to think it doesn't because I noticed something. He said they were, uh, what's it called? Uh, man, um, rough country. That's what he told me. But in washing them, I see that the rock jocks, they're showing up. Probably not. So I need to figure out the number right there. But that is freaking sweet. Because I was going to buy these tonight. I was going to buy the Curry Springs, but I think they're the same thing. Or essentially the same thing. Close enough I'm not spending five bills on some springs that I don't need. It's got Jay's KS Disconnects. It's got one ton steering. Um, it's got... G2 front Dana 44 with 48 gears. Look how fat these tie rods are. The tie rod. It's got a G2 rear 44. Obviously 48 gears. The skid plate is super clean, so he must not have uh, wheeled this thing too much. Um, it has Philistine shocks. I'll probably replace them. Where are they? Of course, I can't see it now. I'm most likely replacing them. There it is. I don't know. I don't know which Bilstein that is. I'm going to have to come back to the video and see if I can find a part number or something on it. I can't see. I'm trying to look in the camera, but I can't tell. But anyway. So, I was going to buy some Rancho 5000Xs. I might not buy those either. I haven't got under to look at the control arms yet. I thought they were rough country. Now I'm wondering if they're not curry. I hope they're curry. Hopefully there's some kind of labeling or something on them. But they're adjustable upper and lowers, which is amazing. Um, I don't see anything on this. I can't tell. But they're adjustable anyway. These are going to go. Looks like they're in the body mounts. Which is okay, I guess. I mean, hopefully I can just take those bolts out and put them back in. Easy enough. Hopefully. Okay, let's see. What else? What else? Nice windows. I just did a crap job cleaning them. Now this guy, I don't know if what his deal was. I don't know if he was just super into stereos or what. So it has this head unit, which I may keep. He made those things. Power base, what is that? Power base? No, I'm not keeping those. Definitely not keeping those. Keeping the head unit, probably. <coughs> this fits my Glock. I carry a Glock 20 every day. That fits it perfectly. I haven't pulled the seat covers off yet. And I don't know. How do these flip forward on these? I had a 97, there was a strap, but I don't feel a strap here. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Whatever. It's got the subwoofer console, which has to go because I want a regular console. There's the back seat. If I knew how to flip these forward, I'd show you. But I don't. How do you get this thing forward? Is that it? That can't be it. Oh, that is it. Okay. Had a huge sub in here, and he's got these amps that unfortunately he screwed to the floor. 
So what I'll probably do is uh, RTV them or something. I gotta go pick up some Armor All wipes, clean the interior up. He lived on a dirt road, as you can see. Everything is filthy. Top is in excellent condition. Windows are semi-clear. I mean, they're like, uh, I don't know, foggy, because like I said, I did a crap job cleaning them. But this dude has wires everywhere. That's a fire hazard right there, that's cool. The wires under the hood are not, they're a nightmare. Um, Hopefully I can get them taken care of without too much trouble. And the Jeep still runs afterwards. The amps are gone. Rear seat needs to be cleaned bad. And that's, I'm gonna paint that. Heat works, defrost works, all the vents work. I was looking at an LJ and that thing needed, I mean, it, it's a different story. It needed everything, but this needs nothing for all that stuff to work. Uh, what else? The only thing that doesn't work, and there's a relay over here, from what I've read, is the two low fan switch settings. These two work. This all works. Everything else works, except those. I'm going to ask the guy what those switches are for. I'm thinking the lights. There's another switch on the other side that is for something. I don't know. Here's the remote for the winch. That's gone. He said if I turn the alarm on, it'll kill the battery. Alarm's gone. Little straps are gone, these little handles. You just grab this and pull yourself in. Tweeters, gone. I'm wondering if I can't pull all this plastic out. I don't like all this mess. All this stuff right here, it's not for me. Um, What else? What else, what else? I think that's it. Let's pop the hood and look under there and see what we got going on. Cause it's crazy. I forgot about these little Heim things right here. Hood latches, so I'm in the market for some regular hood latches cause I hate them. All right, pop in the hood, Be right back. Okay, so here's what we're talking about. <coughs> First of all, this is gone. Let's see. So here is the fuses for the amp. Or the amps, I should say. This is for the amps. Apparently that's a, I don't know what he called it. I don't care what he called it, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Got that, I don't know if uh, it's necessary or if it's not necessary. I asked him what all these wires were, he did not remember. Look at these things. He's trying to burn me to the ground. Um, Crap frame filter, that's gotta go. ASAP, I just realized that, so I'll get rid of that. Oil pressure's fantastic though. What else, what else, all this stuff. Is that supposed to look like that? Somebody tell me, because I really don't know. It doesn't look like it is. So I gotta figure all that out. All these extra wires, all this stuff is like, it's crazy. All that up there has to go. Everything loose. The harness is the only thing I'm leaving. I don't know what this is. That I guess that's the ground wire maybe? I really don't know. I can't, yes, the ground wire for the amps. So this dude's pumping some power through this thing, man, but not a fan. Uh, motor's dead quiet. Transmission's okay, the shifter's shot. If I move with the shifter, I'll show you. Oh, never mind, it's in gear. Anyway, if I, it's in neutral and I push it to one side, it just stays there. It doesn't spring back. So I'm gonna go on dead Jeep. I'm gonna order a new shifter assembly. I could rebuild that one, I'm sure, but I'm not going to. These are out of here, probably. Not guaranteed, but most likely because I don't want this wire going through here. He bedlined the grill, as you can see. Crazy rough texture. He bedlined this. Crazy rough texture. Wish he didn't do that. He bedlined this. Smooth texture. Wish he didn't do that. Unless it's, that might be a sticker. Let me see. Yeah, no. That's definitely paint. Wish he didn't do that. Same thing here. Wish he didn't do that. Side steps gone. I don't know if I said that already. I'm putting rocker guards on it anyway. No, no worries. I'm putting factory flares back on. These are getting sold. These are getting sold. These are getting traded for maybe a factory set, but I'm not sure on that one yet. Because as it is right now, it was so muddy. Every time I got in, I had to step from way out here. So I might not have to, but we'll see. 
suspension super floaty, so I have to figure that out. <coughs> Could be blown shocks, but I'm not sure. Um, what else? This right here is the power wire for the amp. Like I said, it goes to the alternator. That's going to get disconnected. I'm giving all that to my son for his car. Um, yeah. I'm going to check all the fluids, all the mounts. I need to get it inspected. And Maryland inspection, if you don't know, is no joke. So, fluid in there looks good. There's the alarm horn. I want to get rid of that. But I'm afraid if I take it out, I won't be able to start the Jeep. I don't know how he wired it. He doesn't remember how we wired it, so it's kind of like it's up in the air. See, this is what happens when you wash your stuff in the backyard, spraying mud all over it. These are out of here. Nobody's going to want these things. I'm taking them off. They're gone. I'll probably cut them off today and then worry about getting the body mounts off another time. Just because I don't feel like fooling with it right now, but the frame is solid. Crazy solid. Crazy, crazy solid. Surface rust. Let's see if I can't get some wax or something like that. What kind of arms are these? Anybody know? Are these curry arms? Are those Johnny joints in there anywhere? I don't know what they're supposed to look like. I've never had them. He told me all this stuff was um, that other company that I said that I can't remember the name of off the top of my head for some freaking reason. I guess because I don't buy cheap crap. But yeah, no tea case drop. He said it has a slip yoke eliminator, which it does. Vibration free. It's not a super short, but that's okay. I don't mind. Back to my 44. Wish I could tell what kind of control arms these were. I just don't know. I have no idea. Um, solid, 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 solid. All the control arm mounts are good to go. I don't plan on keeping it that way because I never want to have to do a frame replacement. I was going to do the YJ. Then I started thinking, makes no sense. That's how I ended up uh, buying this. I'm going to. So the series is going to be called D Redneckification. Getting rid of this. Getting rid of this. Putting on that. Putting on that. Moto built, worn. eBay. The other place that sells cheap shit tools. Don't know about this yet. If I keep it, I'm going to do a Desteco latch, but I don't even know how I would incorporate that on this yet. When I did the, <coughs> excuse me, when I did the XJ bumper, I had room to play with it on this one. I do not. If I raise this up any higher, it won't work. I think I'm going to move the plate from there to here. Don't know if I'm running a spare yet. Might, might not. Taking all these stickers off. Probably pulling this bumper off. Needs a new tailpipe. Or is that just a tip? What is that? No, that's a pipe. Yeah. Well, I'll probably honestly just cut that off and weld a new piece on there. I didn't know it was just that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, flare is gone. I want to get clear windows. I don't want tinted windows. So hopefully somebody will trade me that has a factory Jeep top. Don't know if they will. I'm going to put it up on Marketplace and see what happens. Tube steps gone. Lights gone. <coughs> Everything else? Good. To, oh, stereo system gone. Factory stereo system's good enough for me. So yeah, that's it. Let's see. Guy let me borrow his plate. The coolest dude in the world you could buy a car off of. Third brake light gone. Here's my back seat. I got to get that installed because I'm driving this tomorrow. <coughs> then I'm going to the MVA. I'm going to get the tags for this, the temp tags, and turn these in at the same time. He's got the whole thing right aligned. He's got sound deadening all throughout it. If the seat fits with the sound deadener, I'm keeping it. Because it'd be nice to have this thing silent. I mean, it's quiet inside. If it doesn't fit, out it comes. So there we go. A rear cross member looking halfway decent. <coughs> so that's the new project. D-redneckification. Wheels are almost fully covered. It looks good, though. Looks really good. So here we go. A new series while I'm doing the Ford. And then if I don't sell the bike, I'm going to be doing the bike, too. So it's a whole thing. 
So stay tuned, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your kids, tell random people that drive Jeeps in the middle of the day, tell everybody. Stay tuned, pay attention, because it's on. I was freaking wrong. Smitty built, made this top. No one's going to want this. They might, but I doubt it. I don't even know if it's compatible with a factory top. Well, that would explain the waviness. I was wondering. Okay, anyway, back to work.